Hello, Prayer Service Gang. This is G Day here, and I'm coming to do um, the general energetic messages for March. Basically, March 1st. Okay. So, I hope that this message is going to find everyone well. You guys may be able to tell that there is something going on with my voice, and there is. But I just really felt, I have felt better than I have for the past few days, so I really wanted to come and do this reading. All right. So I basically just asked Spirit for messages, that's it. And I didn't have anything in particular. I just wanted to see what they would share. <clears throat> if I'm honest, I literally wanted to do one card. <laughs> like maybe a card of the day type thing. So I don't have to talk so much, but I got way more cards than that. So hopping into this reading. From the Angel Answers deck, we got as the overall energy unlikely. And this basically just says that maybe for some of us, we are looking for something to happen in a certain way. Um, and basically, Spirit is saying that it may not, it may not take place in the ways that we could be thinking. It just may not. Um, it may work out, but it may work out in a completely different way. Okay. Uh, so, Spirit is suggesting that we basically relax our minds, relax our hearts, and be open to allowing whatever it might be on some of you guys' mind who this message is going to resonate with. Be very open to the possibilities instead of kind of focusing on one perspective, okay? Or one even person. Moving on, from the energy oracle deck, we have as the overall energy, rest and rejuvenation, 19, if you add the nine and one together, that's the number 10, okay, which also reminds me of the 10 of swords energy. So I definitely felt like something was coming to a close, something's coming to an end. Um... And I got the vibe of a Sabbath of some sort, like whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in work, whatever. There is something that is coming to a close and it's going to allow us more time, more time to relax, more time to actually meditate. Okay. For some of you guys, this could be something that your soul needs, your spirit needs and all of that jazz. I feel like this is definitely tapping into the, some of the energy that I was in this rising like I feel that spirit is suggesting that we definitely definitely make time to meditate make time to steal your mind make time to just rest and enjoy whatever that may be okay last but not least we have from the tarot messages the victory we got the six of the, the six of wands. I'm sorry, I almost said six of swords. We have the six of wands here, so there's a lot of leveling up. There's a lot of advancement. I just heard a lot of achievement, growth, and the crazy thing is, the way that I feel like this is gonna be coming, you guys, from what I heard in my spirit and in my time during meditation, it's like you're not gonna have to do the type of work that some of you guys may think you have to do. Like, literally, you spending time with spirit is going to give you so much information. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's going to show you all that you need to know. And like, literally, your connection to spirit is what's bringing this victory. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. I'm so sorry. This is a lot of Aries. 
Leo and Sagittarius energy. All right, let's hop into it. So the main message that came out was get more information. So <clears throat> I feel like for some of us, we're going to get information and then we might have a somber outlook. Hold on, you guys. Daria is awake. I feel like some of us are going to get some type of news um, <clears throat> or like for some of us, like I said, we're thinking about certain things or maybe even a certain person. And I think spirit is trying to let us know that things may not, you may get an answer or a response and you may not think it's what you want. But the truth is, is like, if you remain open, it could definitely be more of what you always wanted and needed. For others, I feel like this definitely has something to do with like health related issues. And so what I feel like is some of us are gonna receive a diagnosis that could seem really grave, or if it's not grave, it's gonna just put you in a mood that's kind of funky, but spirit is suggesting, it, you know, stay calm, keep an open mind and literally get more information. So that might mean researching, asking more questions of, um, experts and specialists in the doctor or holistic practitioners, whatever the case may be, research, okay? Look into it a little bit more. Now, the card that came out for the Energy Oracle deck is the Karen Connections. This basically was, um, we have the number five if you add the four plus the one together. Five is about change, okay? So, in somebody's relationship <clears throat> or even business partnership, it is possible that it could be deepening. Ah! Oh, thank you, mama. Or it could be going to another level, okay? I feel the need to say that it's possible that somebody may propose something. And for some of you guys, it may be something you have to think about. Hence the rest and rejuvenation card. Like, remember I was saying I felt this energy of Sabbath or um, like a Sabbath type energy. So, Sabbaths are pauses. They're, you know a break okay um it may not for some people it may be an actual breakup but i don't know for others i just feel like you're gonna take time you know pondering and mulling over if someone asks you to marry them okay uh the next card caring connections or the next meaning excuse me that this can deal with is a karmic connection or new love coming in or a new opportunity in business and stuff like that so period, I feel like some of you guys are going to have some decisions that you have to make per a proposal, whether business or romantic. Hold on, guys. So yeah, whether business or romantic, there's some decisions to be made and whatever they do, they're bringing change, period. Okay. Now, in the tarot... The cards that actually came out in the tarot, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. And so for me, remember I was telling you guys that the Rest of Rejuvenation card gave me the Ten of Swords energy. I feel as though for some people, there's going to be breakups, okay, where someone's going to be getting themselves single and focusing on self-love and self-care. That's not for everyone. For others, this could still be in part with the health shit. I'm sorry to curse like that, but that's the quickest word to come out. <clears throat> With the health situation that some may find themselves in, I feel like where there was a near, I feel like there could be a near death experience or just they could have felt really isolated by themselves. Like there were so many things odd stacked against them. I feel like with the nine of pentacles, you're going to get whatever information you need and you are going to, I feel like you're going to be eating a lot more fruits and vegetables. 
you're really going to take care of yourself. You're going to be listening to spirit and that's how you're going to heal yourself. And I also feel like with you getting this information on how to heal yourself, it's also possibly the way that you can begin to literally make a living for yourself that will put you in a very comfortable position. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and clarify just these cards, the tarot, and then I'm going to end this live. I mean, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to end this reading. Mama, she's trying to get down. Girl, what is you doing? What you, okay, come on in. Stay up here. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit, show me the energy surrounding this six of wands, please. I really hope this message finds you guys doing well. And I really hope that you guys are also... Um, this is going to resonate. If it does, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel, you guys. Thank you so much for those who are already subscribed. Hey, y'all. All right, we got the five of swords in reverse coming out. So somebody either, I feel like somebody's come, somebody's strategy may have worked or someone's coming out of the energy of being conniving and cunning, strategic, like underhanded and sneaky. Maybe someone's going to break away from manipulation or someone who is trying to manipulate and control them. And I also just heard somebody's getting their mind right. Somebody's getting their mind right. We have the page of pentacles. Hmm. That could be a new undertaking, like a business. It could be scholastic. Somebody could take up a new trade or skill. Hold on, you guys. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. Show me more about this energy spirit before I, I want to keep it short and sweet. And we got the 10 of swords in the reverse. See, I feel like this is definitely connected to this energy with the 10 of swords coming out again. I feel like there's going to be just a new beginning and a new horizon. This really may have something to do with getting more information, to get more information card. Like somebody's gonna take up a new study. It could be in the healthcare field. To bring hope. I'm seeing the page of swords. A message of some sort. Watching. Okay, some of you guys may go to the internet. You may need to go to the internet to get some more information. Others of you may literally be video chatting and texting, you know, talking to other people, getting second opinions. Show me more spirit. No, mama. Show me more about the victory. All right. Eight of wands. I feel like things are going to progress very quickly. They're gonna move very fast. I also am noticing this archer giving me Sagittarius energy right now. Somehow Sagittarius could be connected. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so cute. Get, mommy, let go. Sorry. Hopefully I didn't hurt you with my ear. Eight of Wands. Okay. I feel like you guys could receive messages back and forth. Or you could get a lot of information coming in. I heard the word overwhelming. It could become a little overwhelming. The different options you may have to help heal yourself but i feel like you need to know what you want or you need to um i feel like sitting with spirit it will it will help you have more of a guided approach of which information is for you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just a little more about this okay we got it we got it we got it mm. oh for some of you guys, this can have something to do, y'all, with, um, my baby, I always get my earring out my ear. Girl. Whew, this could literally have something to do with a union coming together. Like, so, like remember I told y'all I felt like somebody was <clears throat> getting themselves single? So for those who that could be a part of, your message, someone's going to get themselves single, and I really feel like they're going to be coming back to want to dwell or with you some of you guys literally may move into a new residence this could be what you're getting information about a place to live maybe literally even relocating moving taking a huge risk starting over somewhere else maybe a whole new 
Um, I'm hearing a whole new world, but it could literally just mean another state, you know, another country. Hmm. I'm also getting about this. Somebody may pass and you can inherit a house. Like, I feel like it's going to be a gift. Like the way that the fool's hand, the fool card, the hand is like looking like it's giving towards this uh, four of wands energy is possible that this could be a gift to you. And honestly, the relationship itself could be a gift to you from spirit, guys. Okay, I'm going to move on. Show me the nine of pentacles energy, spirit. Look at this. So somebody definitely got themselves single and I feel like they have a choice to make. You know, at this point, show me more about the nine of pentacles energy. Gemini. Gemini energy right there too. And here's another arrow, guys. Another arrow. That just makes me feel like Something is being very, very much so guided divinely. <clears throat> Queen of Cups. Somebody's going to be choosing the one whom I feel like they're spiritually connected to. They're, they love this person. There's going to be a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Show me a little more. This person is nurturing, very loving, very beautiful. Maybe even dreaming. We have those sign of Pisces, um, Cancer, or Scorpio here. Show me more about the Nine of Pentacles. Mm. I feel like this could happen after a betrayal, you guys. Yeah, I see the Ten of Cups in reverse. It hit the floor first, so I see the Ten of Cups in reverse. It's very possible that after, like, somebody might get their heart broken, and then they want to come in and put in work and effort, you know, or they want to, bare minimum, get themselves together by themselves first, and then come in and make an offer. Show me the Ten of Swords. Well, that was quick. Mm -hmm. The Ten of Swords gives me the tower in reverse. So someone could be imploding on themselves right now. This could be something that they're going through or the tower moment will have already happened. And now they're just gonna have to literally walk away from something. Like it may have taken them, it may have really taken them a while to understand that they couldn't salvage a situation, but once they do, they're gonna walk away. Some might try to be cooperative. Somebody might go. This could be a work situation as well. Hold on, guys. I got to sip my tea. <clears throat> it's possible that a third-party situation just wasn't going to work. They know it's not going to work. That could be the tower in reverse, too. Or somebody could have felt like some they were cooperating or someone was cooperating with them only to find out that the person was not. They were working with someone else maybe against this person. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, somebody's wife, okay? Somebody's wife, Sagittarius energy with the temperance. Who might have earth energy in her chart. And we got the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like somebody strategically took this person down. Like I'm getting a vibe that this person was very methodical, very patient especially with the temperance card and they took this person down betrayed them and i'm seeing at the bottom of the deck the justice card it was karma that this happened i do feel like it's going to bring clarity though man so let me see what's the next cards the chariot this is what's going to help this person move on and move forward and finally go towards the person who really has their heart who they may have been keeping themselves from they may realize that you know they weren't content the whole time and now they're going to be ready to you know give to the connection after a dark night of the soul all right guys that's been the reading and we are at the nine of pentacles and we have the king of wands here aries leo sag energy high priest this ace of wands somebody knew this somebody knew that this was going to be happening at some point they may not have known when it was going to happen and again, you may not like how these things work out or somebody in the connection may not like how shit has to happen. But nevertheless, be open minded because it is happening for you and not to you. So that's been the reading. Hope and pray that it resonates with some of you guys. Thank you guys. I love you. Peace, love, light and darkness. Which works together to bring balance and harmony first within ourselves and then within our worlds. Bye.